A local woman says she dropped her car off to get fixed at a repair shop, and when it came back to get it, her car tag was stolen. But the owner of the repair shop says it's not his fault. Fox 31's Franklin White has more on that story. Good morning, this is Tracy. When Tracy Shorts dropped off her car to get it fixed, she thought it would come back the way she left it. When you leave your car at a repair shop, you think that it's going to be safe and a secure place until it's repaired. But to Shorts' surprise, that wasn't the case. It wasn't parked inside a fenced-in area. Uh, it was just parked on the side of a street. The suspects were arrested and charged with stealing the car tag and putting it on a stolen vehicle. But the owner of the car lot says it's not his fault. He refused to go on camera, but he did tell me, quote, on that issue, she was supposed to pick up her car on that day, and so I left it outside so she could pick it up, and she didn't. He went on to say the car had been inside the fence for over a month with no incident. During that time, other vehicles had been broken into, but that car was locked and unharmed, end quote. A person uh, could go to jail on that misdemeanor charge. Phyllis Banks with the Albany Police Department says even though the rate of stolen car tax has gone down 60 percent in the past year, you still need to be fully aware. But people do need to monitor their tags, make sure they check it um, frequently to make sure it is the correct tag and it is there. And if your car tag is stolen, the Doherty County Tag Office says all you need to have for a replacement is a police report and eight dollars. Franklin White, Fox 31 News.